Hey guys, Brave Play Gaps here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add Game Center to your app. So let's just go into Xcode real fast, create a new project, view based, choose, just call it Game Center, and save it. Let's expand it. I'm just going to tell you guys right now that I have this little cheat sheet right here. Uh, that's going to help me with the code, so it's kind of long out. I don't want you guys to be waiting for me to type forever. So let's just go into frameworks, drop down, right click on one of the frameworks and reveal in Finder. Scroll up a bit and find Game Kit. Drag Game Kit into your frameworks and just click Add. So now you're done with that, you can close that up and go into your classes. You can then go into your game view control.h and we're going to add a couple things here. So let's just do an IB outlet uh, UI label because to show your score you're going to have to do score. Let's just name it that. Now let's just call it text score or whatever. And then let's do int. Let's just call it um, score int. Sure. Save that. Let's create a couple three IB actions. Uh, we're gonna sub score, submit a score, and we are going to um, show leaderboards. We're gonna add. Add a score so every time you click a button, the score will go up. So let's just copy these into our dot m real fast and add some little curly braces. And add one more right here, and we're good. Save it. Just build and build it, and it should work. Perfect. So now let's just close up this and go into our resources and click on Game Center View Controller that XIB and interface interface below should load up. So here we are. Let's just add a label for our to show our score. Stretch it out and go into our attributes. Center it zero to four score and commit uh, hit Apple Shift Plus or Command Shift Plus and that all works and just do it to a reasonable size that should work and let's add three buttons which you should just add a button and do command D D two times just to add a couple buttons there we go and let's just um, gain score show leader and sub there we go. Alright, so now we want to connect them, so let's just go into files owner real fast. Connections, so let's just do add score, so gain score, same thing. Touch up inside, show a leaderboard, touch up inside, and sub score, touch up inside. And also let's just do uh, the text, our label. Let's just do that, save it, uh, command S and command Q to quit it. So now we're done with that. Let's just close this up, and now all the rest of this is on. Well, we have also have to add the code, but let's just go into here, and we have to add. We have to make some app ideas and provisioning profiles, and to do this, you have to be a paid developer. You have to go into Apple and pay them a hundred dollars, obviously, and you will get all this access. And so yeah, let's just create a new app idea. If you already are, just follow along, and you'll be fine. Create a new app ID. Let's just call it center t test sure generate new com dot branch lake and then game center test submit it and it should be down there. So now let's go into our provisioning profiles. Let's just do one for distribution. New profile. Let's just do App Store profile name. Game Center Test. 
select app ID and then it should be game sitter test right there so select all for all purposes and submit so let's just refresh once while it pins and then wait a little longer let's refresh one more time and there we go so let's just hit download once it's downloaded, you should get this little gearbox on there. Pick it up, drag it over onto Xcode, and just release. And this organizer should come up. You can just exit out. So now we're done in there. And once you go into iTunes Connect, this is also part of your paid developer. You go into Apple, and you pay them, and you register and everything, and you get this. But if you're not for one of the free ones, you would not get this. So just be a paid developer to do this. So let's just do Manage Applications and you will have to actually add a new app and create a new application and such so I'm just gonna pause the video and I'm gonna fill out the forms you have to have uh, images and screenshots and you can just fill out random stuff and you then you can like delete the app when you're done so I'm just gonna pause the video and I'm gonna have it all set up when I come back so see you soon alright hey guys I'm back so I just made a random app here and I called it uh, add some random images and whatever so let's just go once you made your app and it's right just meant whatever right upload your binary you want to hit manage game center right here and you want to hit enable and this list should come down and you want to set up a leaderboard system so let's just do ascending it doesn't matter just do whatever let's just do integer let's add a category category name uh, scores, sure. And this leaderboard category ID, you really have to remember. Just make it something simple. Okay, sorry about that. So you really actually need to remember this category ID. So let's just make it something simple. It has to be, it should be numbers, I guess. Um, there you go. That works. Um, five, six, seven. All right. So just hit save. You should remember that. Default, add a language, you have to do this as well. It's just UK English. Um, just do commas in there. Score. Scores, category title for scores. Uh, scores, and hit save. And that's it. And you just want to hit save. So now your leaderboards are set up and you are basically done and that so there are my two images I actually uploaded to the app so let's go back into Xcode and let's just go to project settings scroll down a bit and in the iPhone OS you should have we'll add that later actually but yes let's just go into references and under this your company dot whatever Delete all that. Do calm dot brand dot uh, game test. I called it. Hit enter and whatnot, and save it. Build it real fast. It works perfect. All right. Now go into classes dot m, and let's just do submitting score. So I have it right here and submitting score so here it is just paste it right in there and here in with category it should be right in there that little in between at quotes quotes put in your ID that I told you to remember a couple seconds ago one two three four five six seven that's what I called mine <coughs> and in here you need to call it Whatever you had, so I called mine score int. Let's do score int. There we go. And I think the rest of it's done. Let's just do build. Score undeclared. We'll look at that later. I'll look at that later. And then show leader. And back there. So show leaderboards. Go right there. paste that right in there and then you also need this void statement so when you hit the exit button in game center 
the app will come down and you could play with the rest of the app. And it also will not be accepted by Apple if you don't do not add that. Oops, wrong one. Alright, and then to show achievements which you don't need yet. Um pause it. Sorry about so so to add a store, sorry. I'm gonna just copy this to add the score and number of clicks, whatever the int was, and you just call it score int. Score int again. Just delete this, whatever that is. And let's just try that real fast. And I'll fix this later. <laughs> Alright, I'll fix it. Alright, sorry about that once again. So, here are the errors real fast. See, it says seizure undeclared and declared. That's because we forgot to add our, um, the game kit to this .m file. So, game kit, silly mistake. Build, and there you go. And so, also right here, it, I did not call it score. I called it score text. So that was a mistake. Save all. Number of clicks undeclared because that's not what it's called. It's called score int build and run. So it's just silly mistakes and you should get these warnings. So that's all good. Should be all good. So there we go. We should be able to build and run. And gain score adds about four, whatnot. Uh, let's just open this control panel. Submit score, it's failed, and because we were probably not signed in. But the show leaderboards work and everything because there's no scores. And once again, I shall be signing into Game Center or not if I'm already signed in. So there we are, I'm already signed in. It's good. Oh yes, oh my gosh, mental mistakes are happening to me. So also, the logging in part, you need one more part. Sorry, I keep on forgetting about this. You just want to undo this part real fast, the beaded load section, one last part. And you want to copy this and paste it in. This is just to log yourself in. I completely forgot about it, but it all works. It's just forgot that one little section. I apologize for that and it should deep should work. And there you go, there's that. Welcome back, Brent, like uh, whatever that is. That little thing comes down, you can add your score, show leaderboards, there should be no scores because we've not submitted anything yet. Submit a score, authentication succeeded, submitting succeeded. Let's just show leaderboards. M forty eight, there's our score. It's a hit done, let's just gain another store to sixty. Submit a score, submitting succeeded, show leaderboards, and it should have worked, but it didn't. But yeah, that's basically it for uh, Game Center. You could add this into your app, and yep, that's about it. So uh, please go rate, comment, subscribe. Check out my new app in the App Store called Z. Please go check it out, it'll help me out a lot. Um, that's about it. So please go rate, comment, subscribe. Sorry I've not made a tutorial in forever. And I apologize about all the little tiny errors that I screwed up in, in this video. So see you guys next time. I'll try to be posting more videos soon. And so yeah, see you guys next time.